Welcome back guys. Today we're gonna make a blueprint for constructors. So I gotta put some uh, further constructors down to make concrete in my steel factory. Uh, it's gonna be a lot easier with this boys here. So this is a 5x5, it's the Mark II blueprint designer. If you have the Mark I, it's gonna work, but you are going to be able to put only 4 on the side. So 4 on the side, 4 on the side, that's 8. I'm gonna be able to do a little better here. Okay, this is one of the most used blueprints uh, for me, at least, late game. I try to put them um, and leave myself enough space in here, because at some point, uh, one is not placed right, this one. At some point, I might come in here to modify the belt, because normally, when I'm doing this, I'm making them uh, Mark 2, Mark 3, Mark 5, Mark whatever. Uh, right now, I'm gonna do them only with Mark 5 belts for this playthrough. Uh, at the later date, I think I'm gonna come back in here and make these belts in here Mark 1 and these belts in here Mark 2 or Mark 3. But for now, everything is gonna be Mark 5 just to make it easier on myself. Plus, I want all the limestone and all the concrete move really fast around here so yeah it's gonna be mark 5 a lot of space between them if it's a 4x4 of course you're gonna be a little more crowded you're gonna have to pull these guys back because you will miss one space in here but that is what it is you can do it so i'm gonna put up three mergers in here on each one of these just to have them align and uh, make my life simpler watch out for the green arrow you see it has three reds three inputs one exit the exit is green exiting that way okay good stuff delete the ones that are extra in here we don't need them and now let's put the lifts Always mark part for me, you can put whatever you want. But I think that's the right height. Let's put a belt on it and check it. Five please. Is it straight? It is good stuff. Let's put them all at the same height. I have the hover pack on. If you don't have the hover pack, look at the first blueprint that I put in the 1.0 is the one way smelters I believe I'll show you how to do it without the back. Easy. Or are you just gonna jump around here? Well, yeah. So now after making exits and here we are we have our blueprint of eight all that is missing is the power so let's invent the power pole in here. I put them in here normally, just at the beginning of the row. And always put one at the end outside. That will make it a lot easier to connect batches. Because look at me, I gotta put down 40. So guess what? I could make a line of 40 by putting 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 5 times. So when I'm gonna do that, if I'm gonna do that, I just told you, put this on the side. It's gonna be easy because the next batch is gonna be in here. Take the Mark 5, connect it down, take the Mark 5, connect it up, take the power, connect it in here, the next batch is connected. Easy, easy. Okay, let's save this boy. So we're seeing here 8, constructors if I could tap it would be just outstanding uh, I think I'm gonna write mark 5 this time on them for my directory I'll choose constructors uh, yeah the subcategory here the, the, yeah mm -hmm. okay apply add blueberry here you can close that it is in here icon I want the icon for the constructor really easy for me to identify them by their color, by their picture, I want to say. 
Okay, that one is saved. Okay. Now, what I want to do is start removing machinery from here. Because believe it or not, you're not gonna use only eight all the time. You're gonna use six, you're gonna use four, you're gonna use a lot of variations. So I wanna do just that. This pole, I wanna pull it backwards in here. Be behind that line. So two, four, six, eight. Oh, we had ten. Amazing. Well, let me show you that. I go into blueprints in here. Juice constructors. This one. No, not like that. BIG. In here. I say edit this one. I press in here, and I say ten. Uh, rename. How do I rename it? Rename. I cannot remain. Rename it. That's stupid. I'm pretty sure I was able to rename it. Um. No, I'm not. Okay, remove. No. But in that case, we'll have to do it again. We're gonna save. Let's leave that one as it is. Uh, yes, continue. Let's delete this one. So, clear the design in here, easiest way. And then load this blueprint with 8 constructors, okay? Actually, this is the one 10. Yes. So, we're gonna save it. Different. We're gonna say here 10. Save. Okay. Now, clear. We're gonna load 8. Then we're gonna de delete the last two again. And bring that pole a little closer. So this is the eight. Perfect. We wanna save it. Uh yep. Override. Perfect. Now delete the last ones. Be careful not to delete your blueprint designer. It happened. Not funny. Now we have six. So, right in here. Six. Save. This is my blueprint for four constructors. And I'll do this one. And make it for two constructors. You can leave only that part because it supports two connections. But I like bringing another one here. I don't know why. Save. Okay. Now I can clear it. Grab uh, my materials out of here. Let me show you how this one works. So, out and about, okay? The others, I didn't select the directory. They are in here in undefined. You can press edit, go in undefined, drag, highlight where you want it to go, and drop it in there. Perfect. Apply. Good stuff. So, if I want to put down 10 constructors in here, and let's say I need 12. I need to put two more at the end. Blueprints, constructors, two of them. Just align them. Come in here, connect your belts down. Connect your power poles. It's done. Just like that. If it would have been built on a floor, it would have been a lot better, but it's good anyway. Well, that's it guys for the blueprints for the constructors. Hope I'll see you guys into the next one. If you like it and you find it interesting, would you please press that like button for me? Thank you. I'll see you into the next one. Take care of you all.